So right now we're doing a pulse electrical field treatment with intratumoral immunotherapy. This is a technology that destroys tumor. And for years, you know, we've been doing different ablative technologies where you put needles into tumors and you destroy tumors with microwave, with radio frequency, or with freezing such as cryoablation. Previously, we've really seen that the most immune stimulating overall was cryoablation because it left pieces of tumor intact so that the immune system could see it. And studies have shown if you injected immunotherapy into the tumor at the same time, you really boosted the immune response. And that was really the key. Certainly you can use intravenous immunotherapy at the same time and that, that's still helpful, but injecting into the tumor at the same time of the ablation was what was shown to be the most immune stimulating. Cryoablation though really is kind of challenging. There's an art to it. You don't want to freeze too much tumor. Are you treating a patient with just localized disease to try to eradicate that? You treat those differently. But one of the things that we've learned is that if you ablate the entire tumor and you're treating an advanced case, you don't get the immune stimulation. I know this sounds kind of counterintuitive, but the residual aspects of the tumor actually begin making immune stimulating substances. And we see this with all the ablative technologies, the same with PEF as well, that these piece of tumor that you leave behind actually becomes the immune stimulating part. And so with PEF, it kills in a different way. There's no thermal effects. The pieces of the tumor are left intact. There seems to be more for the immune system to see. Seems to be more consistently immune stimulating versus cryoablation, which done incorrectly can be immune suppressive. And so this looks like a real good technology, particularly when you're looking at advanced cases where you're trying to boost an immune response. This PEF is functioning like an additional immunotherapy agent. And so when you combine that with other agents into the tumor, that's functioning as immunotherapy itself. And the one thing when you inject into the tumor, you can use a lot more combinations that you can never use intravenously. And that's really the key, to stimulate the immune response there at the tumor. That's where you want the immune system to learn to attack. Once it knows to attack there, it can go everywhere in the body. So it's not just a localized treatment. This is a global treatment. So, you know, as one of my colleagues came up with the idea, he said, you know, treat locally, act globally. I think that's a very good saying. And it certainly is what, it, is what we're doing right now.